Good afternoon, students. In this video discussion, we shall discuss the derivatives of the trigonometric functions. I hope you can still remember the six trigonometric functions. We have the sine function, the cosine function, the tangent function, the cotangent function, the second function, and the cosecant function. Now, we have the derivatives of each of these trigonometric functions. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. The derivative of tan x is second squared x. The de derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. The derivative of second x is negative second x tangent x. Finally, the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Now, sometimes, uh, instead of the use of the variable x, we can use theta, we can use y, we can use s, we can use t, or any other variable, okay? So, all you have to do is really memorize the derivatives of each of these functions in whatever variable uh, given to you as a problem. Okay, let's start with example number one. Suppose you are given the function x to the fifth cosine x. So how are we going to determine the derivative of this function? Now take note that this is in the form of u times b. u times b. And so the derivative of that is u dv plus v du. Okay? So copy your u, x to the fifth. Then the derivative of your cosine x from the formula is negative sine x. That's the derivative of your v. Plus, copy your v cosine x. And the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. Now, let's simplify. So, we have x to the fifth times negative sine x is negative x to the fifth sine x. Plus, just uh, rewrite 5x to the fourth no? uh, before writing cosine x. Okay? So, this is your final answer which is the derivative of the given function x to the fifth cosine x example number two find the derivative of cotangent y divided by one minus sine y by the way this problem is taken from the book the calculus with analytic geometry by lighthold so this problem is in the form of u over v and the derivative of u over v is v du minus u dv all over v squared. So copy your v. Then the derivative of cot y. Let's go back to the formula. The derivative of cot x or cot y is negative cosecant squared x or negative cosecant squared y. So that you have this derivative minus copy your u cot y and derivative of one is zero derivative of negative sine y is negative of cosine y okay take note you bring down the negative sign and then the derivative of sine y is cosine y okay so it's here so we are using the variable y then let's simplify. So this is minus u dv all over the square of your v, which is 1 minus sine y. So you have in the denominator the square of 1 minus sine y. Now let's simplify the numerator. So 1 times negative cosecant squared y is negative cosecant squared y. Negative sine y times pos negative cosecant squared y is positive sine y cosecant squared y. Negative cot y times negative cos y is positive cot y cos y or positive cotangent y cosine y. Now, in the numerator, as you can see, sine y and cosecant y are reciprocal functions. So that means if there are two cosecant here, then you could have one cosecant is cancelled with sine y here so that the leftover is only cosecant y. By the way, the first term is copied. Then, um, you bring down also 
cotangent to y, cosine y, and copy as well your denominator. Okay? Some of you may stop there, okay, as the final answer, but you can explore more if you really wanted to do some um, exploration no? with regards to the trigonometric functions because if you love uh, solving or verifying trigonometric identities, then this is going to be a challenging as well as fun for you. Now, if you want to do that, then let's move on to um, the next step, okay? But of course, I would like to emphasize that this could be considered as the final answer because the purpose of factoring is simply to, other than simplifying no, your answer, it would also um, try to see if there is a possibility of cancellation to simplify further the, the answer. Well, uh, let's try to proceed further. So, as you can see, you have here cotangent, which is actually cosine y over sine y, and then multiplied by cos y. So, why do I have to proceed further? Because there is 1 over sine y, no? After multiplying um, cosine y by cosine y, so that's cosine squared y times 1 over sine y, which is the reciprocal, no? of the cosecant y or which is yeah so because of that um i was uh, triggered to proceed because i would i i can see a common factor which is cosecant y so that we have negative cosecant squared y plus cosecant y plus okay from here cosecant squared y and one over sine y is actually cosecant y Okay, so we have cosecant squared y multiplied by cosecant y, and now we can see a common factor. Okay, so the common factor is cosecant y, and of course, since uh, this is negative, we can take that out. And then, if that happens, then this will be changed, okay? So the sign here will be changed into negative because we take out the negative sign. Okay. So we have negative cosecant y, then we have a leftover here, cosecant y, then positive divided by negative, of course, um, cancelled, so you have negative 1, and then positive cosine squared, cosecant y divided by negative, that's cancelled, so you have negative cosine squared y. So your final answer is cosecant y times cosecant y minus 1 minus cos squared y, all over 1 minus sine y squared. You can actually arrange, no? Um, you can actually arrange this also if you'd like. But again, as I've mentioned, this could be considered as the final answer or the derivative of the given function cotangent y over 1 minus sine y. Let's proceed to the third example. So, uh, in the first and second example, we have already been acquainted with the cosine function, also with the cotangent function, as well as the sine function. Okay, that's it. So, let's now move on. And as you can see, the functions here are second and tangent. Now, this is in the form of u times v. And the derivative of that is u dv plus v du okay so again from the formula five is a constant so let's write that outside and then get the derivative of second u and tan u okay so second u is your u and the derivative of tangent is second squared theta please verify that with your list of formulas no for the derivatives of trigonometric functions plus your v is tangent and the derivative of second theta is second theta tan theta. Okay, take note, uh, we are not using here the variable x, no? We are using here theta, okay? Then we have second theta times second squared theta is second cubed theta. And second theta tan theta multiplied by tan theta is second theta tan squared theta. You can actually rewrite it or write it as tan squared theta second theta, okay? 
but <laughs> this would uh, look better for me no? uh, because I'm already familiar with the formula of sec theta or sec x which is second x tan x so I'm just following that order but actually by commutative property you can have tan squared theta second theta okay so let us now get the common factor as you can see the common factor is second theta so we have 5 times second theta the common factor then second cube theta divided by second theta is second squared theta and then this is cancelled so we have tan squared theta now as you can see we are using this um, function yeah second we have this function second also this function second so because uh, i love doing identities no <laughs> or verifying identities so I, I i know that this is very familiar right because tan squared x plus one is equal to second squared x suppose we use theta here okay so i can play with that so tan squared theta is equal to second squared theta minus one so that means i can replace this by this one okay so that uh, second squared theta plus second squared theta there are two second squared theta so you have two second squared theta minus one multiplied by five second theta and this now becomes our final answer okay and we have here the last example so again we're done already with five trigonometric functions we have cos second x right now Okay, this problem is taken from TC walk by Lighthold. 2 cos second t minus 1 divided by cos second t plus 2. This is now in the form of u over v. So that you have v du minus u dv all over v squared. So copy your v, I mean, yeah. And then the derivative of your u is 2 times enclose the derivative of cos second t, which is negative cos second t cot t minus copy your u and then take note now you really have to enclose the terms again because that's negative so the derivative of um cos second t plus 2 is negative cos second t cot t Kutik ayo. anyway we have the denominator is equal to the square of cos second t plus 2 Okay, so let's uh, simplify this one. So we have this already and then bring down all the others and then or copy all the others. Then we have uh, multiplying now. So this is now negative 2 cos second squared t cot t minus 4 cos second t cot t. Then enclose with the parentheses again because of the negative sign. Or you can directly... Uh, simplify like this if you'd like all right but let's do the step-by-step -step process here so you have 2 cos second t multiplied by negative cos second t cotangent t is negative 2 cos second squared cot, cot t negative 1 times negative cos second t cot t is positive cos second t cot t okay so this is preceded by the negative sign so you have negative times negative is positive so you have 2 cosecant squared cot t and negative times positive is negative cosecant t cot t okay so let's proceed as you can see we can cancel this so the leftover is negative 4 cosecant t minus cosecant t cot t which happens to have the same or the same functions or uh, which, hap which happens to be um, similar terms so negative 4 minus 1, that gives us negative 5. Cos second t, cotangent t, and then copy the denominator. Cos second t plus 2 raised to the power of 2, or the square of cos second t plus 2. Okay, so thank you very much. Mathematics is easy to learn when one learns with enthusiasm. I hope you learned a lot today. Bye!